standing at what should have been the pinnacle of my sports career, thinking that medal's going to look absolutely rubbish in the box I've got at home. So, without more ado and silly stories, I'm delighted to open officially the country fair. Yes, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what is a beautiful day here in Chatsworth. My name is indeed Captain Richard Carr and I have the honour and the privilege of being the officer commanding the Royal Signals motorcycle display team, the White Helmets. So without further ado, let's get this show started. Oh, it looks like we've got a triumph down already ladies and gentlemen. You can't account for technology these days. But here we go, the guys are out and ready to go. Once again, now here we go for another set of crossovers. The guys now are going to go past those white markers, bringing their safety distances down even more. Hitch there, just banking that bike into the corner. Steering there. Well done, Hitch. That guy in the tank there used purely for ballast to try and keep that weight down on the bike. Bring that not only can he ride a triumph backwards, just steering using his bum, he can also juggle at the same time too. Well done, Adam. I am very envious, of course, because I can't even do that whilst I'm stood still. So Adam there doing an excellent job. And a big smile at all times as well. Some great jumps there from the guys. Here we go for the first ones. Not bad indeed. I think that's worthy of almost an 8 out of 10. Lance Corbell Adam Hen is there just setting the clutch on the left. Lance Corbell Adam Conway on the right with the throttle. Oh dear me, dear me. Oh dear me, dear me. Oh dear me, dear me. It appears he hit a little bit of a bump there and fell off. Don't worry, they're both fine. And to be honest with you, it's not a show unless one of them does fall on their face. And that is quite hard work there, pushing that bomber bike. So big round of applause. Never mind, boys. Well done. We move on from the two Adams to the two Dan. Signal at Dan Holcroft. They're piloting that machine, and Corporal Dan Nixon, his aiming passenger, hanging upside down on that ladder, placing a lot of, a lot of trust there in the rider. But Dan there doing a great job to get that bike round. And well done to big Dan Nixon on top. Now here we have Corporal Daniel Papa riding this reverse riding trick. With his partner in crime, they're performing an excellent feat of gymnastic ability. Proving that, of course, we and the team do go to the gym in our spare time. And exercising some great core strength there in that corner. As Dan just manages to keep that bike free of all those uh, roots and divots. As on from the sidelines comes Lance Corporal Ian Greenhow. He's going to hit that in fourth gear. Great jump there from Lance Corporal Greenhow. As on comes Steve Day. Great distance again from Ben. Well done, everybody. Oh, there comes, and there he is, starting to juggle. Well done to Josh. No disrespect, of course, to Jack, but there is a lot of weight on top of that motorcycle. And with those tricky little divots out there, <laughs> Josh is taking no chances. 
Well done indeed, and all the way back round. Steering, of course, just using the inside of his left thigh, leaning on that bike into the corner. Using all of the arena, very well done. And a cheeky smile to finish it off with. Ah, oh, now then, here we have it, it's a bit of a fan's favourite. Ridden by, of course, Lance Corbel, Danny Gover, performed by his man indeed, Lance Corbel, Josh Cowan, is the wheelbarrow. This is, of course, the traditional way that we greet each other in the team. So if you do pop down the pub in Blanford on a Saturday night and you see this being performed in the corner, please don't worry. We're just saying hello to each other. And we'll find out in a minute whether Danny there has got a cup on today. Oh, bit of a rough landing. On comes the pinnacle of the first year tricks. It is the two bike fan. Should explain, of course, that the, all the soldiers in the team are all regular serving members of the Royal Corps of Signals. They volunteer to do this job for three years traveling around all of Europe and the UK representing not only the Royal Corps of Signals but the Army in general. And these guys here, that after only six weeks of training, perform this in front of their mums and pops every single year in Blanford. What a great job to get that bike round. In time, it is of course the Irish Whips. He's facing not one, but two triumphs here. Hopefully he's gonna show us an exercise in gymnastic ability as he swings on top of that pole ever so gracefully to hang upside down and to pull out of his jacket not only the regimental magazine of the Royal Corps of Signals, it is of course the wire. Just likes to look at the pictures. But he's doing a fantastic job and he's even got it the right way up. Big round of applause. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. They really can hear you out there, and they really do love hearing your applause. Thank you so much. And always graceful, a nice little dismount there from Dan. So now moving on to four bikes. It is, of course, the Charlie's Diamond. Now then, here we have four men on one bike. It is, of course, the four T's, ridden by the second man in there, Corporal Dan Nixon. Down there with nowhere to go as those two soldiers behind him, one in front, squeezing him into position to try and keep that body weight nice and central on the bike. Nice smiles all the way around taking a nice little Sunday afternoon stroll on his machine, reading, of course, the regimental magazine, The Wire. Ash is a very talented second-year rider in the team. He's also the team corporal, which means he's in charge of a lot of G1 and administration for the team. Not a very glamorous job, but big thanks to Ash all the same. What he's doing, actually, ladies and gentlemen, is performing this trick very well, but he's also distracting you from what's going on in the pits. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it can only be 10 men on one machine. It is the world famous Tableau. A big push there, and there comes the Tableau out of the pits. 
10 men and nearly two tons there on that poor old Triumph. I really do feel for its suspension sometimes, but they're being ridden by a first year rider, Corporal Jack Gooding, doing a fantastic job. Big smiles, of course, from Lance Corporal Greenhow on top and a little bit of a wave. Do wave back to him. Two wheels are good, but sometimes we just have to use those four wheels. So in the case of the quad routine, here they are on two, is of course Sig Ben Day, Sig Sai Sunter performing the quad routine. They're gonna get those quads on two wheels now. Aim to pass as close as they can to each other at the bottom of the arena. And then continue this all the way around and hopefully avoid each other in the center of the arena. Fingers crossed, let's see. Bit of a wobble, but well done indeed from Ben. And then back on the two wheels again, and then finally all the way back up the arena with a stand-up wheelie. Well, then you may have spotted there is something in the center of the arena that does not belong there. Just to wake you up if you were sleeping there, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this. Corporal Shea Dawson in the centre there, just about ready to say that he is ready. As on goes the first man, Sig Ben Day. Great job. Sig Dan Alcroft, second man through. Here comes Dan Nixon, here we go. Oh, a solid landing there from Dan. Last man through, Lance Corbel, Ash Frank. Ooh, good landing. And finally, the last man through in the court, Sig Sai Sumter. Excellent job, boys. Now then, once again, let's see if we can get those bikes even closer. Before the guys form up again on the chief instructor in the center, then come back in in one straight line. This is actually a lot harder than it looks as well. Those guys doing a great job there, well done. Those two men on the back of his bike there really are just hanging on for grim death. Not a very comfortable position to be in when it's nice and bumpy out there. Ben is now about to perform the ladder headstand. Great job there from Adam to steer that bike around that corner. And of course, well done to Ben. Almost staying up there on those ruts. There he is, he's back up, well done. Fantastic job Ollie's doing there today. Very experienced, very strong rider. He needs to be indeed to get this bike going all the way around. And a big shout out to Ollie's grandparents, Lorna and Morris, who are in the audience today. Ollie wants to send his love and appreciation for you coming and seeing him today. This is of course the 40s, but it's in reverse. I think he's picked a pretty terrible line there to go through all those bumps and divots, but well done to Sai. Hands off all the way around. Don't worry, he's not laying an egg. He's about to stand up to perform the standing trick. Well done there, Paps, and well done, of course, to Lance Corporal Danny Glover, who's riding that trick. 
A little bit of a slip there, but Paps has kept up. Well done, Paps, he's kept his balance. It is the one and only five bike fan. The most recognised of all the team's tricks. 16 men there on five motorcycles, but with all the weight going through the centre three riders' shoulders, you might be able to spot an odd grimace there from their faces as they round the corner. But a big smile and a bit of a wave there if you're lucky from Corporal Ash Frank on top. Here they go. Back into their twos again. And now for one last time in single file. As Sergeant Stevie Marshall brings the 2014 White Helmet out to take the salute from Sir Matthew Pinsent. Is that like a...
units, windows, frames, indoors, outdoors, any way you like. <laughs> That's everything what's left. If it's gone, then it's gone. Five o'clock, don't cry at the stall. I don't want to see any fights. Bullshit.